feels like it's needing the battery, so let's get it set up. I guess this is the button to open it somehow. Let's try it. Okay, here we go. Uh, I do have some couple of batteries somewhere around here. So we'll pop the batteries in. Okay, and this one goes here. Okay, so the batteries are in. it's flashing let's get the uh, smart life app up so we'll get going to smart life we'll go into add devices and then we'll go to security and sensors and uh, see if we can find okay contact center Wi-Fi that's the one where is that device first okay so hold on we'll push this button hold it for five seconds it needs to start blinking okay cool so confirm mobile phone is not connected so Wi-Fi got to connect okay so just need to get the Wi-Fi up Okay, back to Smart Life. Uh, we enter Wi-Fi username and password. Okay, and click confirm. And as you can see now, it's trying to connect. So let's see if it connects the first time. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see what happens if we can get it running from the first go. Okay, so it stopped blinking. Okay, device found, registered. Okay, excellent. So door sensor is connected. Okay, so we go done. Okay, and it's showing the door sensor is unlocked. So let's see if we put this here. So in theory, it should change to locked. Let's see how fast the network is responding. Yep, and we can see it's locked, and uh, if we do it like this, so let's see if it unlocks it. Yep, and it unlocks. So the sensor is working, uh, it's definitely sensing it, and it's passing the data to Smart Life app, so it's good. Uh, so next step, I guess, is to figure out where we're going to connect it, and... Uh, get it plugged in and see if we can set up some procedures as well so we can we'll probably try to get the uh, light going or something based on open and door setting okay so we'll go and connect it now and see where we are, where we'll get to